Same. We're going straight back to Belgrade. Here is Martin O'Neill with Tony. Martin, you said that points might be difficult to come by in this group. Are you happy to come away with a point tonight? Well, eventually, yes, uh, we were. Um, we took a very early lead in the game, and uh, I thought we thwarted them pretty well in the first half. You expect them to have a lot of possession, of being the home side. Pitch cut up amazingly, very, very quickly, and uh, it became, became rather boggy. But um, uh, you knew that they were going to come into the game in the second half. They did so, um, and, uh, but we've roared back after the, we've conceded the penalty. We had uh, goal disallowed. Uh, Shane Long's had a great chance to equalise in the game, and then Murphy comes up with a great, great goal. So we've deserved the point without, without question. Two of the players tonight, Jeff Hendricks, first goal for Aaron, and Darren Murphy finally off the mark. Well, that's nice. It's n nice for him. It's, he's had a, a big boost, I think, at, uh, at club level. You know, he's gone, had uh, a glorious move uh, up to Newcastle. And, uh, and he's fit, regardless of his age. He's fit, and he's come in, and he's steamed into that, and that was a great goal for us. Great goal for him as well, too. And, as I said, we deserve the point without question. Have you... the... Sorry. So I was just going to say to you, though, having had the perfect start, how disappointed are you that once again we fail to retain possession in the manner in which you'd like? I, th I, I think these are difficult. And uh, th listen, it is very, very difficult. You're playing away from home against Serbia. These boys play in big, big leagues. I'd, and actually, uh, funnily enough, they give it away a few times because the conditions didn't help in the game. But we've gone in. You're not expecting to, uh, to control a game for 90 minutes in a match away from home against Serbia. I mean, that's lunacy at the end of it all. We fought back magnificently uh, from going a goal behind. They tell me that the... Um, that the penalty decision was a wee bit soft. If it's a penalty or it's deemed a penalty by the referee, who I thought wasn't sure about his game tonight at all. Um, if he books uh, Stephen Ward for the foul early on in the game, if it was, then he's got to book the player down in the, on the, my left-hand side about uh, 15 minutes later, which he, he doesn't bother. But um, those things, regardless, all those hurdles we've had to overcome away from home here. We've got a point and we're off the mark. And the players were br brilliant, and they fought back as they showed the sort of courage they've shown in the last couple of years. And I'm delighted with them. Is there another level we can bring Ireland to, though? I mean, I accept the point away from home is a good one. But you... yeah, no, no, no. It's a great point. Yeah. It's a great point. Okay. It's a great point. This early on in the competition, France is gone. That's out of the way. We went there, and we've beaten Italy and France. And we beat Germany to get to France. You, do, you know. So I don't know else, what else you're expecting. We have done it. Some of the younger players are coming in here. They're very fine players. They're going to improve. They're going to get fitter as the season goes on and that point there sets us up now for next month hopefully we're going to try and drive on if that's the case this group will have turns twists everything that you name that they will have in this uh, between now and qualification time and this this is strong this is very very difficult don't think you realize how difficult it is to come away from home in these sort of conditions and go and score twice away from home we've done brilliantly Hopefully it's an important point in the long run. Thank I you, hope so. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's Martin O'Neill with uh, Tony. Liam, your, your thoughts on... He, he was very bullish about saying, well, it was, it's a great point for us. No, it is a great point. Uh, and, he, you know, the, the Serbian team are, are very good, but you have to say that their standard of play compared to ours far, was far superior to ours. You know, the, the pitch was a, was a problem. Uh, but it wasn't it was less of a problem for them because they were getting the ball down and getting it into feet to their front players and Tadic was was very good tonight um, but uh, the penalty was soft he's right in what he said there and he's also right in saying the reaction was very good to gone behind we all admit that it was very very good um, our spirit and uh, our endeavor got us that point it wasn't the quality of play there was a booking um, I'm not sure, but booking right in front of Martin O'Neill that he referred to in the interview there of Stephen Ward. Yeah. Uh, and there was uh, something much worse down the touchline 10 minutes later and the referee let it go. Now this is a very, this referee, referee of the Champions League final, uh, Hungarian. Uh, he's a very good referee, very experienced referee. I thought the penalty decision was shocking. Shocking. He should have booked. He should have booked the, the, the Serbian player. For, should for, have been booked. For, for diving. So the inconsistency of officials is a you know, a perennial factor in football games now. You have to factor it in. And I would say that Ireland's re response was really sp splendid. Yeah. You know, to come back uh, after a blow like that, to have the guts and the determination and the will, willpower is really what it was, to come back and do it and get the, the equaliser was really uh, 
splendid, and it does, when we see it, bear out Liam's contention that we are a, a long ball side. And I mean, whatever about we're saying about the Irish team, I don't know what the Serbian analysts would be saying in their studio <laughs> and the coaches uh, in Belgrade. He could be sent uh, somewhere uh, not too nice for his holidays, uh, whoever was supposed to pick him up. But it was a great goal and it gives us a lift. And, you know, um, it's, uh, I just wish we'd never found ourselves in that position. So I think a whole review of that game would be required by the management team if mm -hmm. they do things like reviewing what was right, what was wrong and maybe the personnel needs to be shifted around. But I, a big learning curve for me as a fan and an analyst. Mm. A big learning curve. And I hope that uh, you know, Mr O'Neill does some learning too, because he, he needs to. You know, on, uh, uh, Serbia will be saying how, how we didn't win that game, we don't know. We didn't win it because we didn't defend very well, uh, and we didn't take our chances. Mm, okay, we're going to get some more reaction from Belgrave. We're going to hear from uh, the man of the match. Uh, Darren Randolph is with Tony. Yes, and Darren Randolph is the three man of the match. Yvonne McCartan from three, the three sponsorship executive is here to present you with your trophy, Darren. So congratulations to you. And uh, well done indeed. Uh, Martin O'Neill was just telling us there that uh, it's a really important point and we don't realise how hard it is to come on the road and get a point against teams like Serbia. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to come. Um, as you said, the manager said inside it could be a very important uh, point come the end of the group. Um, so yeah, very happy to, to go off uh, to getting a point in the first game in the group. Goalkeepers don't always get man of the match when they do. It tends to suggest something that the opposition had more chances, but also obviously that you played really well. Uh, I just want to do my part for the for the team. Um, you know, got got luck today when I needed it. Um, other times, just happened to be in the in, in the right place at, at the right time. Um, but again, it was uh, as everyone says, it was a team effort. Uh, it really was for the boys to keep battling on to the end and the big Murph getting the equaliser. All right, that's it from us on this program. A thanks to Liam, to Didi, and to Eamon for.